It's a brilliant Saturday morning. Lovely and sunny, hello everyone. My name is Lily Rose Barrett. I'm four years old, and have not long ago started school. I'm in reception, and it is brilliant. I'm the youngest of James and Millie's three children. I have an older sister, Romana who is 17, and an older brother, Roscoe, who's 12. This is my life story from little kid to adult. So, you'll see me grow throughout the series. Lily, are you done with the introduction yet? Yes, Roscoe. Just finished. How come? Because lunch is ready. It's your favorite. Tuna casserole. Tuna casserole. My favorite dish. I'm on my way. She is such an angel. That was a great meal. I'm too full to do much else at the moment. You need to rest and let your stomach go down, sweetheart. You'll be sick if you eat more now. I don't want to be sick. Thanks for bringing me to the park, Roscoe. No problem, Lily. We can't have you getting bored now, can we? No, we certainly can't. I might have started being naughty out of boredom. You wouldn't have done that, surely. You're not like other little girls. You're more switched on and in tune when it comes to preventing boredom from causing naughtiness. Did you not ask Roscoe to bring you here? Nope, Mum and Dad asked me to spend time with her, so I brought her here. It's true, Romana. I'll join you in that case. Please do. The merrier the more. That's. The more the merrier, sweet sister. Of course. Thanks for the correction. See. Only a good little girl accepts being corrected. Others would get upset and lash out. But not our Lily. I can be naughty sometimes. Of course. We all can. Stop with the fucking lies. Ivy. You didn't just use the F word in the presence of that little girl, did you? Yes she did. And we won't allow it. We'll have to take her home and tell our parents our sisters picked up a naughty word. Well Ivy. Say sorry to this little girl for swearing in front of her. You're very naughty. My name's Lily by the way. I'm sorry I used the best words ever around you. You call that an apology? I'm very sorry for my sister's irresponsible behavior and foul mouth. I hope for little Lily's sake that she doesn't start using that language herself. Bastard. You're grounded. And when we get home, you are going to bed. What does the first word she said mean? Nothing. You're too young to know. And you don't use those words. None of them. Ever. You're a little bastard anyway. My parents are married, thank you very much. How do you know what a bastard is? Dad told me. He didn't tell you it's come a long way since then. And we don't use it to refer to children born to unmarried parents anymore? He did give me a word of warning. Okay. You need to be careful who you say it to, and how you say it. We love you, and we'd hate to see you get in trouble. Have a nice day, sweetheart. I will, Dad. See you after school. See you after school, baby. I love you very much. I love you too, Daddy. Now to get to class before I get a tardy form. There you are, Lily. Here I am, Miss Kendra. I was just on my way to the classroom. Okay, but not before we put your nappy on. That's okay. I don't need one. I don't wet or mess myself in class. Lily, I said you're having a nappy on, and I mean it. You're still a small child. So I'm putting nappies on you, and changing them when you need it. I'm potty trained. It doesn't matter. Let's go and put your nappy on, and then you're going in timeout for arguing about it. You're a very naughty girl. Don't talk to Lily, children. She's been naughty, so she's in timeout. I wasn't naughty. Yes, you were. No talking in timeout. You can change Lily back to being properly dressed and free her from punishment. She wasn't misbehaving, she was fighting her corner. Lily. Daddy told me you had an off day today. Are you okay? I did, 
but it was resolved in the end. Is there anything you wish to ask me? Yeah. What does fuck mean? Roscoe told us you'd picked up some naughty no-no words. I'm afraid you're not old enough to understand it. Sorry, baby. You don't say it again. It's natural you'd be curious about it, but I'll explain it to you when you're a bit older. What happens if I say it again? If I hear you say that naughty word again, I'll be very cross and put you to bed. Don't even think about it. I won't. Don't worry. That's my good little girl. What a glorious sunny day. Too good to be stuck in a classroom all day with a bunch of idiots. Lily, were you being rude about your classmates? No mum, I promise. I heard you calling them a bunch of idiots. Lily, that's very rude, disrespectful and naughty. We brought you up to behave better than this. Technically, I'm still growing up. That makes you retarded. That is a very derogatory name for someone who is stupid and foolish. How dare you use it to refer to me? That's very naughty. Where did you pick it up? These bigger boys at school were using it towards a teacher. Well you. Do not say it. It's very hurtful. As I said, go inside the house. March straight upstairs and into your room. I'll be up in a minute to put you to bed. Bed? That's right. You are going to bed for calling me that naughty name. And there you have it. I hope you had a good time, and have learned the lessons behind this episode. Don't swear, and never use the R word towards anyone. Ever, next time on the Lily Barrett Saga. Say no to strangers. It's a nice day for being outside. Hey little girl, would you like a sweetie? No Lily. Don't accept it. He's a stranger. No. But it's chocolate. It doesn't matter if it's chocolate or not. We're strangers, and you don't just come onto our property and offer my sister sweets. But... I said no. And that means... No. So go away. You heard her, creep. Leave this property, right now. Or I'll get my dad. Or your mum. What's going on? This man just came and tried offering me sweets and when I said no, he persisted about it. You should be ashamed of yourself. Coming here and offering my little daughter sweets. She was right to turn it down. Get off my property this instant. You are trespassing. And if you don't leave I will call my husband. No need. I hear all. Why are you all angry? We're angry because you think it's okay to come here and offer our little girl sweets. Get out now before I call the police and have you removed. She doesn't need a total stranger trying to take her away. Before you question her. Another little girl was kidnapped by a man fitting your description after she accepted what she thought was a candy cane, but it turned out to be a harmful chemical with a severe toxicity warning. She died as a result. I will not let you fool me into taking one of those sweets which are actually highly toxic chemical drugs disguised as sweets so you can abduct me and let me die. Lily, we won't let that happen to you. You needn't worry. We demand to see those sweets as you call them. Okay. These aren't sweets, they're Viagra pills. You were going to give our little precious Viagra? You dirty pig. You wanted to kidnap and murder her, didn't you? I suddenly feel unwell. Come on, Lily. Let's get you to bed. You filthy bastard. No wonder our little girl isn't feeling well. 
All this talk of violent reactions and death caused by toxic pills. What sickens us is the fact that the last little girl to die from one of your disgusting pills was a friend of hers. We won't let the same thing happen to our daughter. So you're the sick bastard who was trying to drug my sister? I can't believe this. Well, I'm waiting. I was only trying to be friendly. You have a nerve. You know you were trying to drug my little girl. How dare you lie to our eldest like that. My baby sister is now sick in bed because of you. Pervert. Get out of here this very second. The police shall be notified straight away about you. You will be arrested. I'll have them arrested, little brat. Huh. They'll never arrest a little girl. Get out. We are sick of this. Leave this house at once. You will not play any of your sick games with our daughter. What about you, Toots? Want to come? No. You sick twit. Leave. Now, get. Out. Of here before we have you escorted away by police. What's going on here? This man just tried to drug our little girl. And now he's refusing to leave. I'll handle it. Gray Miller. You're under arrest for pedophilia, rape, murder and attempting to drug a minor. You do not have to say anything. You're a stranger, so it's a no. You cannot decide that. You're a wanted man. Four life sentences is what you're looking at. But... Don't argue with police. This is stupid. Take him away. Anything you do say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford it, one will be assigned to you. Take this sick weirdo to jail. All right you, it's time to go. I hope they give him a sentence he deserves. I think he's getting four life sentences, one for each of his victims. That should total up to 96 years behind bars. What kind of sick bastard would do this to a group of four-year-olds? And there you have it. Never accept offers from strangers because you don't know what they might be offering you. And by the way, the stranger who offered me drugs was sentenced to six life sentences without parole. Next time on the Lily Barrett Saga. Being naughty in public. Stay close now, Lily. The supermarket is a big place. Don't wander off. Or be naughty in any way. Really? I thought the supermarket was an explorable place. Since you've warned me of the dangers of getting lost I'll stay at your side. That's my little girl. I'll let you look at the toys afterwards if you behave. You have my word on it. Can I get something for you and Dad to share? I'll pay my pocket money for it. That's very sweet of you to offer, sweetheart but we only gave you 50p a week. You're a good girl, always thinking about others. 50p a week? That's not a problem in the slightest. I'll think of something. You've been saving haven't you? I might have been. Stop that. How dare you behave this way in public. That's very naughty. Not this again. Ivy, you're six years older than me. And you're having a tantrum in public? Seriously? Stop it. But I want that new swing ball game. I told you it's too expensive right now. I don't have 50 pounds to blow on it. Stop with this tantrum, right now. I feel bad for you, Sally. Your sister does this all the time. And Ivy, you need to learn that just because you see something you want, that doesn't mean you can have it. Why? Do you want it all to yourself? To be honest. I have better things to do with my time, like spending it with my family, of whom I love to bits. Listen to her, Ivy. Why? 
She's only four. And very mature for her age. When we tell her she can't have something, she accepts it, and you, on the other hand, are very naughty. Shut up, you stupid cow. Oh no you didn't. Just insult my mother like that. She's not some farm animal that gives milk. You are just a spoiled little brat, and moo. I mean you. Need to grow up. That's it. I have had enough of this. Ivy Vanessa Jones, as of now, you are grounded for seven weeks. How dare you act up in public, and insult Millie and her daughter. I reject that, you ungrateful swine. Oh you just wait till I get you home Missy. It's you who is the ungrateful little swine. How dare you speak to me like that. You are going straight to bed when we get in. You are being really naughty. I'll wet myself. What a baby. Put a nappy on. You jolly well need one. No I don't. I'll be the judge of that. You are having nappies on. Until you show me a mature attitude. Ten year olds do not behave this way. But Lily's the baby around here. Not me. Ivy, you better take that back if you know what's good for you. Lily no. Don't react with violence. You know better than that. This has gone far enough. I'm very sorry for my sister's behavior. Shouldn't she be the one who apologizes? She won't do it properly, Mum. When she used foul language around me she gave me a joke of an apology. Ivy. You really are, a very naughty girl. Apologies are meant to be felt with heart for sincerity. Change your baby's nappy. Seriously Ivy. Shut up. Ivy, if you don't stop behaving this way. I will make sure your punishment fits your behavior. Being naughty in public makes me look bad, and it's really embarrassing. I can see you ending up in jail one of these days if you don't wisen up. Keep your nose out of it, and stop being such a goody two-shoes. I'd rather be good than naughty. It's way better. Ivy. When we get home, I'll be putting a nappy on you, and putting you to bed. How dare you be naughty over not getting that swing ball set. That girl is just so naughty. Let's get on. That's all for now folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and learned that being naughty in public is a big no-no. It embarrasses and makes your parents or carers look bad. Next time on the Lily Barrett Saga. Bullying. Hey Rolfus. What's going on? These boys are picking on Linda. Shut up the crying. Crybaby. Leave me alone. You boys better stop this at once. Why don't you join us? No thank you. I will not do that. Why not? It's fun picking on this girl. For you maybe. But it's no fun for Linda, as she's the one being bullied. By you. A gang of boys. Faggots. Whatever. You're invading my personal space. Back. Get away from me. You have no right to bully Linda. Or anyone for that matter. And if I want you to go away and stop bullying her then you're going to do it. What are you going to do, hit me? I will if you don't get away from us. Now. No you won't. That's very naughty Lily. But Lizzie. These boys are bullying Linda. I wasn't here to see that, but I was here to hear you threatening this boy, who is colored by the way. With violence. That's why you're naughty. You bullied him. But he and those boys behind us were picking on Linda, and I'm sure the other two boys still are. Don't you yell at me, how dare you. I'm your cousin, and I've been asked to keep an eye on you. Fine. I'm sorry. That apology is unacceptable. And I'm telling your mum about this, but I'll get in big trouble. You deserve it after being naughty like you were today. You threatened a colored boy with violence, 
and then yelled at Lizzie. You are very naughty. You do not treat others like that. That's bullying. I was defending a girl he was bullying, along with two other boys, and he was invading my personal space. That is a poor excuse for your naughty behavior. I'm going to have to punish you. I won't have you bullying other children. But that's not fair. It's so fair. What's not fair is the fact that you'd ignore our warnings about bullying, and then bully someone. You need to seriously think about this. You've been very naughty. What's my punishment? You're grounded. That's your punishment. No play date for you this weekend. But I was looking forward to that. You should have thought of that before you decided to be naughty and bully a colored boy. Now get to your room. I'll be there in a minute to put you to bed, and put your nappy on. Another day has arrived. But I can't do much, as I'm grounded. Not anymore. Your grounding is lifted. What's changed? It turns out that you were telling the truth about another girl being bullied by the boy you threatened, along with another boy. You were just defending her. And yourself it appears. I was, as I defending the girl. The colored boy came onto me and got closer every time I told him to go away. Lizzie told me after witnessing the same incident herself and apologizes for jumping to the wrong conclusion. As am I so cheer up. You're off the hook. What about the whole nappy thing? Come with me, and I'll get you changed into a pair of knickers. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the episode and learn never to bully others because it's cruel, wrong, and very naughty. Next time on the Lily Barrett Saga. Lying. What's the deal with all these false statements being called lies? I fail to understand it. Lily, I hope that wasn't a lie I just heard. Me? Lie? I'd never do that. You just said you didn't understand why lies are called so. That's a lie, and you're naughty for doing so. You also just lied about lying to me. I don't want to hear any more lies. How am I lying when I'm sitting here? Can you tell me that? This is no time for jokes. You just told another lie. How naughty you are. No, I didn't. I made a joke. Lily, what have we told you about telling lies? You told me not to tell lies because it's very naughty and dishonest. And should I ever do so, I'll be in trouble. Right. So why did you just flat out ignore it? I'm trying to give a lesson on lying here. I had to lie in order to put myself into perspective of a child who wouldn't yet have been taught about lies. Oh. I didn't know that's what you were doing. Are you just covering when it's wrong to tell a lie, or are you going to go into when it's right to do so? What do you mean when it's right to tell lies? Lying is wrong. You told me so yourselves. Yes, but only when you're telling a downright fib. It's okay to lie to save someone's feelings. These are what's known as little white lies. So, a little white lie is a small lie told for the benefit of saving someone's feelings. And fibs are the lies that are told to hurt someone else's feelings? That's right. You catch on very quickly to what we teach you. I'm one proud mother. Thanks for clearing that up for me. You're welcome, my honey bunny. I'm glad I could help. Anyway, I still have a lesson to teach. I think you've already covered the fundamentals of the fib and the little white lie. This episode was actually supposed to only cover how bad it is to tell the dark side of the lie. I see. Were you going to do white lies next time? That depends on what's scheduled for next time. To be honest, you've done a great job on this one, sweet cousin. Thank you, Lizzie. What was it about? Oh come on Lizzie, you were in the audience.
How could you not know what it was about? I'm just pulling your leg. Of course I knew it was about lying. And rightly so. I think we've drilled enough information about lying into this audience's heads. That's all for now folks. We hope you enjoyed that episode, and learned a valuable lesson. Stay tuned. There's plenty more still to come. Next time on the Lily Barrett Saga. Rudeness. Tonight, as planned, we're going to talk about rudeness. This type of behavior can be demonstrated in many different ways such as Oh shut your mouth, you naughty girl. How rude of you, Ivy. How dare you interrupt Lillian mid-sentence. You are a very rude and naughty girl. That was extremely rude. Actually Sally. I'm glad she did that because I was about to invite her to join me on stage. Okay, she can join you on stage. But afterwards. She's grounded for a week. Ivy, would you please sit right over there? Why did you want me to come down here? To chat with you about why you behave in such a rude, disrespectful and naughty way. Surely you know it's wrong. You're naughty too, aren't you? Don't talk over me while I'm talking to you. That's very rude, and it's not on. Answer my question, you stupid baby. That's strike two. Calling names is very rude and unkind. One more time and off you go. Is that understood? Yes, Lily. Good. You're ten years old now. You should therefore know it's rude to talk over people when they're talking. So to be clear on this. When I'm talking you don't. Why are you so damn bossy? This is my show, and I'm trying to help you see the error of your ways and change for the better. Your poor sister has suffered your naughty antics enough. May I just button for a moment? Ivy just asked a rude question. Isn't that strike three? Well no. Because she's already received a citation for just plain rudeness. Strike three will happen if she does a third thing on the rudeness scale. Fair enough. I'll return to my post. Your brother does what to help on the show? He runs the editing suite. But this isn't about him, it's about you and how very naughty you are in general. You need to stop it. You act like a naughty toddler. A naughty toddler? What kind of fucking bullshit is that? That's now strike three. Out you go. Alright you naughty girl. You are coming home and when we get in, you are going to bed. How dare you use such foul language to, and in front of a four year old, and other children in this audience. You are also grounded for three weeks. Naughty girl. You told Lily I'd be grounded for a week. You're a liar. For that. I'm issuing a fourth strike. How dare you speak to your sister like that? You are now grounded for four weeks. You do not call me a liar. That's very naughty. There's four examples of rudeness in one episode. I had to give Ivy four strikes because she was rude four times, it's best not to go on about it. Lizzie. Why don't you take a seat? Why? Have I been rude? Not at all. Come and sit next to me please. It's an invitation. In that case I'll happily oblige. It would be rude not to. The show's almost over. So it's time to relax. I do have a story to share, and it's true. I'm all ears. Pray tell. I was very rude to my dad the other day. What happened? Well. He asked me to take out the rubbish and I said back to him, No way. I don't want to do your dirty work, Lizzie. I'm shocked that you'd even think about doing that. That's very naughty of you to say something so rude to your own father. I know, that's why I'm coming out and confessing to it on the show. I'm actually supposed to be grounded myself right now. Yes you are, young lady. So why aren't you at home and in your room? Disobeying us too, are you? 
Naughty girl. I was just confessing to my misbehavior and rudeness, which took some guts, and I'm very proud of you for coming forward with the truth. So you don't get a strike. However, I'll have to give you a strike for your disobedience. Fair enough. And a longer grounding. How dare you disobey us like that? You should go home now, and serve your time. Naughty girl, that's all for now folks. We hope you enjoyed that episode, and learned that rudeness is not a good thing. Stay tuned. There's plenty more to come. Next time on the Lily Barrett Saga. Disobedience. So, disobedience is the tropic of this episode. A good choice indeed. We did see some of that behavior last time, in the last few seconds. From my cousin Lizzie, of all people. Anyway, on with tonight's show. Disobedience is the act of not doing as your parents or carers tell you. It's a form of bad behavior, so let's not display it. May I just interrupt for a moment here just to advise you to bring on a guest to show some disobedience? Why is that, Roscoe? I think it's important for the young guns to see some disobedient behavior. Just so you can lay down proper morals for it. Roscoe's right. They need a contextual sense of it to help them understand. Context? You can't give a lesson in disobedience without any context behind it. It'll be poorly delivered and you'll be cancelled. I see. I think I'm doing fine. You're showing some context. By disobeying us. Disobeying them? No, I wasn't. Lily, it's time for your dinner now. Mum, can't it wait until I've finished this episode? Lily, I do hope you're not being naughty. Naughty? No way. Well then please come and have your dinner. Don't disobey me. But I'm doing this at the moment. Lily Rose Barat. I have said it's dinner time, and that means you are going to come and have your dinner. How dare you totally disobey my instruction. That's what this episode is about. I had to give context. And you've done that. Come and eat, right now. You are very naughty. That was a good dinner. It'll be time to put your nappy on at 7 o'clock. Gotcha. So, how else does one act disobediently? Anyone? Students not doing homework assigned by the teacher. Excellent example, Stephen. Actually, I think we should close the floor to discussion now, as it's nearly 7 o'clock. Okay, Lily. It's time to put your nappy on now. Come on. That'll be all for now, folks. We hope you enjoyed that episode, and learned a valuable lesson. Stay tuned. There's plenty more to come. Next time on the Lily Barat Saga. Respect. That was a good lunch. Millie really knows how to cook. That's mummy to you, Missy. You're supposed to respect her. Of course. Thanks, James. I'm bad to you. Being your father and all, you should respect us both as your parents. Sorry, Dad. I'm a naughty girl, huh? Usually, 
that kind of disrespect would be naughty. Considering today's topic, it's okay. You're setting up the lesson after all. True. Now would be a good time to get this boring lecture over with. Okay, Ivy. Since you think it's okay to disrespect us by yelling out that rude interruption, why don't you come on up here? Why? So you can turn me into a bossy you know it all like you? No. To chat about how to make you see the error of your naughty and disrespectful ways. Come on. Please. Not interested. Ivy. Please come and join us on stage. Perhaps they can offer you an happy change, little girl. Ivy, I think you need to come down here. You need changing. I think the man was on about you. With all due respect, Ivy. You're the only one who is wearing a nappy. Go and get your nappy changed. Come on, Ivy. It's time to change your nappy. We thank you for your patience and apologize for any inconvenience. We'll be back to normal soon. There. All nice and clean. Ivy, now that your nappy has been changed, you can return to your seat. That'll be all for now, folks. We hope you enjoyed that episode and learned a valuable lesson. Stay tuned. There's plenty more to come. Next time on the Lily Barrett Saga. Family Values. Okay, so family values is what we're doing today. But how do we do this? Family values, eh? That's easy, sweet cousin. It's appreciating your family. I know what family values are, but I don't know how to get the message across. In that case, you need help with this episode. So we'll assist you with it. The whole thing? The whole thing. After all. You do normally receive assistance conveying the morals behind these episodes. I do. And I'm grateful for it. There you are. You just demonstrated a family value. I did? Yes. By appreciating our help on the show, you're getting the message across in one way. Okay, Lily. Lunch is ready. Off you go indeed. Yes, Dad. How's she getting on with this episode? I think she's doing really well. Uncle James. Although, I think the lesson was a bit complicated for her. Family values. It was on the schedule for this episode. That was a great lunch. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome, sweetheart. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I love and appreciate all of you as my family, and everything you do for me. I value your love and care. We love you too, Lily dear. You are so very sweet. You're a good girl and a loving child. We're very proud of you. Oh please. I never meant to embarrass you. It's quite all right. That's all for now, folks. We hope you enjoyed that episode and learned a valuable lesson. Stay tuned. There's plenty more to come next time on the Lily Barrett Saga. Cousin Slumber. Say Lizzie and Roscoe. This is fun, isn't it? It surely is, Lily. Although, you do have the wrong idea of a slumber party. 
Girls only. It's not a slumber party, my dear son. It's a sleepover. Hence why all three of you are playing together. I'm grateful to you and Aunt Sarah for having me over. It is, as usual, our pleasure. You're always very well behaved when we have you over. An absolute pleasure to have around. And we love you to absolute pieces, my darling little niece. You're a really fun cousin too. You always know how to entertain us all. I agree with Lizzie there, Lily. Oh shucks. We don't mean to embarrass you, sweetness. We mean to say how much we love you. Shouldn't we be going to bed soon? Not yet. It's only four o'clock. You're not babies. You're all big kids now. My thoughts exactly. It'll be off to bed at eight o'clock. All of you. Yes, Dad. You're all such good children. Thanks for that, Captain Obvious. You're welcome. Okay, you three. Time for bed. Come on, little lovelies. Let's get you all off to bed. You take Lizzie and Roscoe, and I'll take Lily. Okay, sweetie. Next episode, Lily is naughty. Boy, I can see the whole world from here. Lily, what on earth do you think you're doing? Get down from there now, or I'll tell your mum. You wouldn't. I won't have a choice if you don't get down. Standing on the furniture is very dangerous, and you're naughty for doing so. What's going on in here, girls? Lily, that's very naughty. Get down from there this instant. How dare you stand on the sofa? I'm fine. No. You do not stand on the sofa and refuse to get down after being told to. It is really dangerous to stand on furniture. You could have a nasty accident and end up in hospital. Do as she says, Lily. Lily, if you don't get down right now, I will grab you off, turn you over my knee and smack your bottom. You are being very naughty. You can't do that. You'll go to jail. I'll put you to bed in that case. Just do as you're told. Excuse me. I got off the sofa, didn't I? That doesn't mean you can stand on the table. You, naughty, girl. Get off this minute. If I want to stand on the table, then I'm going to stand on the table. Oh, you are so naughty. Get off the table now, or bed. Why? Because you're being naughty. That's why. So bloody do as you're freaking told. Lily, would you be kind enough to get down, please? It's dangerous to do that. You listen to your father but you never listen to me. I am your mother. Lily, don't you think you're being a bit harsh? This is only her first time after all. You're right, James. I have been a bit of a monster today. If you had just asked me nicely to get down instead of breathing down my neck like a dragon, I would have done as you requested. I'm very sorry Lily, but you were still naughty to stand on the furniture. I think we're past that now. Coming up on the Lily Barrett saga. We get a laugh riot in. Funny little girl. Alrighty then. The fake rattlesnake is set up. Fake rattlesnake. All I see is a naughty little girl whose sentence will be timed out if she doesn't get off the table. There's a rattlesnake loose in here. Lily, I know you're trying to be funny, and I commend you for it. 
You'll have to do better than that if you want to fool me. I should have known you were too wise to fall for that. Look over there. What am I looking at? Why nothing? How did you do that? You were just... You just moved from that side of me to this side, didn't you? Nope, wrong again. I'm not standing here. Why not? Because I'm sitting behind you, on the sofa. How are you doing that? How am I doing what? Moving from one space to the next without even walking. You can't teleport. Nor are you a ghost. Your eyes must be playing tricks on you, because I've been sitting here the whole time. I don't get it. You were seeing things that weren't there. There goes my little girl. Playing a very confusing practical joke. Very clever. Practical joke? All right, Lily. Perhaps a day in nappies will change your mind. Mum, you're not seriously going to put nappies on me. Yes, I am. You are having nappies on for the rest of the day, because you won't admit you were playing a prank on me. This is obviously a joke. You're not going to put nappies on me. It's not a joke. It's time to put a nappy on you, right now. Okay. So mum actually did put a nappy on me. You're in nappies for pranking me and lying about it. The only way out is to admit it was a joke. It wasn't a joke. Then, you're staying in nappies, funny little girl. All right. It was a joke. And a very clever one too. Go and change into some proper underwear. Mum put a nappy on me ten minutes ago. I hope she hasn't forgotten about changing me. Lily, are you all right in here? Not really. What's the matter? It's my nappy. I need changing. Are you wet or messy? Both. In that case, it's time to change your nappy. Come on, let's go and get you changed. Aunt Millie. Are you in? Yes, Lizzie. I was changing Lily's nappy. Changing Millie's nappy? Bring me up to speed here. Why are you changing Millie's nappies? Isn't she four years old? She was naughty enough last night to take her nappy off and ended up messing all over her bedsheet. So, she is in nappies today as a punishment. I see. That was very naughty of her. This is exactly what's needed. A nice relaxing day in. That's boring. How about we go and play outside? I don't think so, Lily. We've all had a busy week, and want to relax. You need to do the same. What a waste of perfectly good energy, and a perfectly beautiful day. Lily, I hope you're not being naughty. Naughty? No, Mum. I just want to go out and play. I'd rather you didn't today, as you need to rest off the busy week we had. So, you are to stay inside and relax. But I want to play. Lily, how dare you act up because I said no to playing today. That's very naughty. I want you to relax because we've had a busy week. But... Lily, stop whining and listen to Mum. She wants you to rest off the aftertaste of the past week. That's why you're not allowed to play today. I don't want to relax. You are being very naughty, and if you carry on behaving this way, I'll put you to bed. Lily, stop being naughty and do as you're told. I just want to play. There's only one way to make you relax. Looks like I'll be putting a nappy on you, right now. It looks like we'll be changing Lily's nappies all day. 
so much for relaxing. There, all nice and clean. You will be changed whenever you need it. Whoever is present at the time will be the one to change you. I'm all tuckered out. I'm not surprised. You wasted a lot of energy whining and misbehaving. Just relax now. I wish I hadn't now. Otherwise I wouldn't have to have nappies on. Okay, so here I stand after a good breakfast. Tasty if you ask me. Yes, it was really fucking tasty. And that is very naughty. What is? The word you just said is a disgusting swear word, and you are a very naughty girl for using it. I'm sorry. I'm afraid you breached a household rule, that's a very serious thing to do, and you must be punished. Oh no, mummy. Please don't punish me. No amount of begging is going to work. You are sentenced to be put in time out for five minutes. Sit on the sofa quietly until the time is up. Naughty girl. This is very fucking boring. That's strike two. One more time and you'll go to bed. But mummy, I wasn't being naughty for fuck's sake. Right. That's it. I have had it with your foul mouth. You are a very, very, very very naughty little girl who is going straight to bed. So, Grandma from Mum's side of the family is babysitting me, and it's brilliant. I think she'll be taking me out soon. I am indeed taking you out soon, my sweetie. But first, if you need to use the toilet, you should go now. Before you refuse, it's that, or you can have nappies on. I already went to the toilet this morning. In that case, you can wear nappies on our trip. Why? Because you're being an naughty little girl, refusing to use the toilet before I take you out. So, it's nothing for you. For the whole day out. Naughty girl. So, that means you're putting a nappy on me before we leave? Yes. Unless you change your attitude and go. Last chance, otherwise it'll be a nappy on, and you will wear them the whole time we're out. So, are you going to go to the toilet? Or am I going to have you in nappies all day? I don't need the toilet. Okie dokie. Nappies it shall be. Come and put a nappy on, and then we'll get going. But. No books. Nappy. Now, and off we go. Hey Grace. Hello, Alison. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you, and yourself? Also very well, thank you. Who's this little cutie? This little cutie is my granddaughter. Her name's Lily. Hello, Lily. It's okay, sweetheart. Say hello. Hello. The little sweetie's shy. That's to be expected. She's only five. Bless her little heart. Will it be the usual? Yes, please. And for the little one. 
I'll have a Nescafe, please. No, you won't. You're too young for coffee. Cheeky monkey. Orange juice, please. Okay, one double espresso and one orange juice coming up. Three pounds and fifty pence, please. There you go. Here we are, Lily. The park. Thanks, Grandma. You're welcome. I can't have my granddaughter getting bored. Feel free to go and play. Stay where I can see you, and don't be naughty, or it'll be straight home to bed. I have no intention of being naughty. No need to worry. To the playground. Sweet little thing. Okay, so which piece of play equipment should I start with? Get out of here, little girl. Yeah. You can't use any of this fun stuff. Hang on. This is a public playground. I can use whichever piece of equipment I like. Maybe you didn't hear us. Get out of here now. If that's how you're going to treat me, then I'll just wreck that sandcastle. Lily, what on earth do you think you're doing? These kids won't let me play in here, so I'm going to wreck this boy's sandcastle. You do no such thing. That's very naughty. As I said. These kids won't let you play. That's no excuse for what you're about to do, you naughty girl. But... No books. You get over here this minute. Grandma. I'm not interested in excuses. That's the last time I believe you when you tell me you won't be naughty. You're a fibber. I wasn't being naughty. Yes you were, and you still are. You are being very naughty, and I'm very cross with you. Here she goes again, in desperate need of retuning. Right! That's it. You are being really naughty today, and I have had enough. I am taking you home, and you are going straight to bed. Naughty girl. That girl didn't know this was a private playground. I don't understand why I'm in trouble. What have I done this time? You know what you did, you naughty girl. Don't try that trick on me. I caught you sticking your tongue out at the postman. I don't want any arguments, just sit on the sofa and think about what you've done. Punishing me for doing something every kid my age does. This is so unfair. Not another word, otherwise you'll go to bed. Mum, can I just ask what Lily's done to deserve this? She was naughty this morning. That doesn't answer my question. I asked what Lily's done to deserve this punishment. She stuck her tongue out at the postman. I can't believe you punish Lily for doing something every child her age does. That's very petty. I cannot condone it. You're a big softy when it comes to your daughter. Rudeness is very naughty. I wasn't doing it to be rude. You need to mellow out. That's the last I'll take of your cheek. It's bad for you. Oh no it isn't. She's done nothing wrong. She's just being a normal child. If that's being a normal child, I'd like to know what isn't. I'll tell you what isn't normal. In this case it's being punished for being what she is. A child. Grace, I'm not impressed. But then, she has always been daddy's little girl. I'm getting out of here. That naughty girl is still supposed to be in time out. No she isn't. We are letting her off the hook, as she hasn't done anything wrong. Before you say another word on the subject, being petty enough to put our little girl in time out for sticking her tongue out at the postman, which even he thinks is cute. You are the one who is being very naughty. And how dare you? That's quite enough. You owe your granddaughter an apology. 
go and say sorry. Unbelievable. For goodness sake, mum, you're 58 years old, and you're acting like a child. That's a very naughty little girl. You're the naughty one, not I. That does it. Grace Strobbles. You are being very badly behaved. Sit on the sofa and think about what you've done. 58 minutes. Don't come out until your time is up. What have I done? Lily honey, please wake up. Where are we? We're at the park, as we have been for the past three hours. I thought you took me home and put me to bed for being naughty over not being allowed in that playground over there. Of course, I didn't, sweetie. All I've been doing is watching you play with those nice kids, as it's a public playground. They called me in to remove you after you fell asleep on the slide. Since you've been asleep, I've been changing your nappies and trying to wake you. I could also have sworn it was tomorrow morning, and you put me in time out for sticking my tongue out at the postman. Lily, what kind of monster do you make me out to be? I'd never punish you for that, it's very petty. I promise you that all of this has been in your head. You daft little thing. So you're telling me I dreamt the whole thing from the private playground to the tongue poking fiasco? I don't understand. I'll help you too. But first... Up you jump, as it's time to change your nappy. Let's go and get you changed. Phew. I'm glad that's all over. It was seriously messing with my head. Have you enjoyed your day, sweetheart? I have indeed. Thank you for bringing me out, Grandma. You're very welcome, my little precious. You are, as always, a delight to bring out and be in the company of. I love you too much to bear the thought of you being bored or upset. I love you too, Grandma. However, I think I've had enough activity and excitement for one day. I think so too, Pumpkin. Let's get you home, and then I'm off to see your Auntie Sarah, Uncle Darren and Cousins Lizzie and Roscoe for the night. I'm glad that, apart from the confusion, you had a good time with your grandmother. Is it just us tonight? For the next few hours. Yes, it's just us. Father and daughter. Your mum's at your aunt and uncle's house, Romana's out with her friends, and Roscoe's at a friend's stag do. What are we going to do first? I think we need to change your nappy and get you ready for bed first. Come on. You're a good girl, Lily. Coming and getting ready for bed when told. Of course, Dad. What's the point of being naughty over that? A waste of time if you ask me. I agree, sweetie. Are you hungry? Not really, thanks anyway. Anytime, my dear daughter. What are we doing tomorrow? Ah, you have to wait and see. Why do you ask? I was wondering if I'd be able to wear nappies all day. What for? I just feel like I need to. Well, if that's how you feel I suppose you'll have to. I'll talk to your mum about it. Speaking of which, it's time for a nappy change, and then bed. James, are you here? I was putting Lily to bed. Of course. Is our little angel okay? She's fine, except she wants nappies on tomorrow. All day. All day. In that case, 
she will be in nappers tomorrow. For the entire day, I was going to put them on her runaway. Sunday. Perfect chance to rest up before another school week begins. So I'll take it. That's mummy's sensible little girl. But remember to use the toilet when you need to. No need for that. Why not? Because, by my request, I'm in nappies today, remember? Of course you are. How silly of me. It's nappy changing time, sweetheart. Come and change your nappy please. There you go, Lily. All nice and clean. And very comfy. Nice and snug. In that case, I'll put nappers on you every Sunday from now on. I'm wet. Come on, baby. It's time to change your nappy. Where is everybody? Hello? Hello, Moira. This is Romana. Oh hi, Romana. How can I help you? I'm babysitting my younger sister, and was wondering if you wanted to come and give me a hand. Why, is she being a naughty girl? I'm afraid so. She's being very naughty. She's prank calling everyone, and racking up our phone bills. Wait just a minute. Lily? I know it's you pretending to be Romana. You are one very naughty girl. And how do you know? Because Romana, that is to say I, am standing right behind you. I'm in trouble. I'm putting the phone down now. You're damn straight you're in trouble. How dare you steal my phone and use it to prank call Moira. It was only a bit of harmless fun. Fun for you maybe. But not for those who fall victim to your naughty pranks. It ends here, and it ends now. Why are you so angry? I am angry because you think it's funny to take my phone and waste my valuable call time on prank calls. I'm going to get a hefty bill because of you. That's not funny, it's not big, and it's not clever. It is, in actual fact, very naughty. And it will not be tolerated anymore. All right. What's the gag? I'm not joking. As punishment for your actions, you will go to bed early every night for the next five days. Starting tonight. Come on. You are going to bed, and you are going now. I'm in a mischievous mood today. I think I'll be cheeky. Lily, did I just hear you say you were going to be cheeky? Cheeky? Me? Romana. I can't believe you'd twist my words like that. Lily, are you being cheeky? Maybe a fiver would say I am. Oh no missy. I'm not giving you a fiver. You're a cheeky monkey aren't you? Oh I'm not cheeky. I'm Lily. Trust you to forget your own little sister's name. All right. You cheeky monkey. Who's being a cheeky little monkey? Lily is, Grandma. She's swallowed up some mischief today. Is that true, Lily? Have you swallowed some mischief? Swallowed some mischief? What sort of food is it? Breakfast cereal? Lily Barrett, you are a very cheeky monkey. Coming up with a smart mouth comment like that. Oh what a powerful speech.
Get a job in politics. Now Lily, don't go too far. Playful cheek is fair enough. But that kind of cheeky comment takes it from playful to naughty. Don't be dumb. Of course it's not naughty. Lily, you're a naughty girl. That was totally inappropriate. Bleh bleh bleh. Naughty and cheeky aren't the same. All right. I know a certain naughty monkey who's going in time out if she doesn't behave. You have to find the naughty monkey first. I'm looking at her. Lily, you're the naughty monkey to whom I'm referring. I'll go and eat some bananas then. That's enough now Lily. I mean it. You're being very naughty with your cheeky antics. Sit on the sofa and think about what you've done in the last five minutes. Naughty girl, I'm very disappointed in you. Lily, I'd like a word with you. What's this about? Ramana told us how you've taken to being naughty when she looks after you. What a joker she is. I don't be naughty for her. Aha. Uh -huh. You are being naughty for her every time, aren't you? No. I know you're fibbing to me, and you're very naughty for doing so. I swear I'm not. Lily Rose Barrett, you are a very naughty girl right now. Lying to me about your behavior is disgraceful. But. No buts. Tell me honestly why you're naughty every time Romana looks after you. I'm never naughty for Romana when she looks after me. Lily, I am not putting up with your naughtiness anymore. Perhaps a week in nappies will set you straight. Mum, you're not really going to make me wear nappies for an entire week are you? I certainly am. So, come with me, and I will get you changed, into your nappy as it begins today. So Lily refused to admit to her naughty antics when I look after her did she? How naughty she is. As it happens, Romana. She was doing just that. Don't worry because she's been punished. And what punishment has she received? I've been put in nappies for a whole week. So this means we'll be changing your nappies all week long? Yes Romana. Do you need a nappy change? Not yet, as you've only just put this nappy on me. Okay, call out when you do. You're very naughty aren't you? Fibbing to mum like that. About your behavior when I look after you. You wouldn't be wearing a nappy if you'd told her the truth. I don't need. I think we ought to change your nappy and put you to bed. I'm with you, and you're being naughty. So, another Halloween is almost upon us. What's happening with it this year? I have the answer to that. Roscoe and I are taking you trick or treating. How does that sound, sweet little sister? Sounds good. I've never been allowed to go before. That's because every year before now, you've either been too young to understand what Halloween is, or in recent years been very naughty beforehand. There is one stipulation this year. Between now and Halloween, you must behave yourself. Do exactly as mum, dad, Romana, or I tell you without a fuss and no questions asked. Go to bed when told without getting up and making demands in the middle of the night. Anything else? If you're naughty in any way between now and the 31st, you'll be grounded come that day, and be going to bed early every evening. Even for the tiniest behavior or error? You'll be put in time now for the little things. I'll do my best to be good, but I can't promise anything. That's all we ask. As a matter of fact, I have an idea, 
As to how you can prevent any bad behavior between now and then, so do I. Keep myself busy, use my imagination and take myself on an adventure. You have a very active imagination. You never know what you could dream up next. Just last night, I had this strange dream. In it, everything was the opposite of how it is in the real world, except the adults were the ones being parented by the kids. In other words, the kids had the adult lives and authorities, and the adults had the kids' lives and had to obey the kids. You dreamt of a flip side universe, in which everything runs opposite to the way it works here. Everybody aging backwards and such. Not exactly, but close. In my dream, the kids and adults remained their usual sizes, but the roles were flipped. Perhaps you could give us an example. Okay. In this one part, we were here having the same conversation, except mum was the one sitting here, and the three of us were giving her the stipulations. I think you may have peered into another universe, in which everything has been flip-sided, sweetie. Another universe? That's right, honey kitten. It's a little too quiet around here. No, 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 no. I can't believe this. Stupid. 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 I wonder what's going on up there. Stupid. 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 What's the matter with Lily? I don't know. But I think we're about to find out. Stupid. Lily. Stop. Stupid. No, Lily. You should stop and get down before you have a nasty accident, stupid. Why don't you have a seat? Stupid. Okay, sweetheart. Calm down, Romana. I can't just calm down. Mind if I ask what you're upset about? Since you asked, I'll tell you what this tantrum is about. Okay. We are all ears. I woke up this morning, remembering I had a book to return to the library. And I lost it. I'm such a naughty girl. I had to punish myself. Lily, we have to tell you something that ought to cheer you up. What's that? You haven't lost the book. Mum and Dad took it back for you, as they had to go out and run a few errands this morning. That's a relief. I feel so stupid over that freak out. Don't be daft. You weren't stupid. You thought you'd lost the book. And no, I'm not putting you in time out. As you weren't naughty. You were just upset. Oh how cute. I love you too. Dear sweet little sister. Saturday is here once again. Time to be lazy. That's fine, as long as you remember to use the toilet whenever you need it. What if I can't be bothered to use the toilet? Don't even go there, little missy. Let's just say that I can't. Lily. You're five years old, and that's too old for baby treatment. Compared to all of you, I'm still a baby. If you think I'm going to put a nappy on you, you can forget it and stop being so naughty. What makes you think I want a nappy on? Well, you're hinting at it, for one thing. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. And you are very naughty for doing so. I need to go. You better go then. You are not going to wet yourself on this sofa. I can't be bothered, so I'll just sit here. No, you won't. You are going to go for a wee, right now. Or nappy. I mean, bed. Mum and Dad said that in cases of extreme laziness, I'm to be put in nappies, and stay in them until they say so. When did they say that? The last time I did this. It's in the rules. So it looks like you'll be putting a nappy on me after all. 
Fine. I'll put a nappy on you. But I'll be checking the rules to see if you're telling the truth. We'd better go and change your bum. It's time for your nappy to go on. Sorted. Now to check the rules. Lily was telling the truth. Rule number 523. Lily has to stay in nappies until I say so. Clear as a bell. I told you so. You did. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. This means you have to remain in nappies until I decide. I know. I think it's time to change you, Muffin. Already? Yes. Come on, let's go and get this nappy changed, and then settle you down. Everyone's out, and Grandma Grace is babysitting me. I am indeed. And I'm just coming to check on my sweet little angel. I'm fine, Grandma. No worries there. You don't want anything to eat? No thanks. I had a big breakfast. How about a glass of juice? I should have one of those, please. Certainly. Which flavor would you like? Orange, please. Of course. One glass of orange juice coming right up. Where are you going? To the toilet, of course. I think I should put a nappy on you before I serve you your juice. A nappy? Yes, Lily. A nappy. Come and put one on, please. Why wear a nappy when I can just choose the toilet? Now, Lily, don't be naughty. If I say you have to wear nappies, I mean it. You are going in nappies. And that's final. So, it's time to put your nappy on. Now. There you go. All nice and clean. I'll change your nappy when you need it. Okay, Grandma. What I still don't understand is why you want nappies on me. I'm nearly six, and can use the toilet. I want nappies on you, because although you can do that, you often refuse to. So it's nappies for you, until you can learn not to. Naughty girl. I understand. That's my girl. So I'll be changing your nappy in a couple of minutes. But first, I owe you a glass of orange juice. There's your juice, love. Thanks, Grandma. Before you drink it, I need to change your nappy. There. All changed. You may drink your juice now. Thanks, Grandma. You're welcome, sweetie. I'm going to do some housework. I'll change you again in about five minutes. What if I don't need changing in five minutes? Billy, trust me. You've had a big gulp of juice. You'll need changing in five minutes. I think I'll take a nap. Billy, it's time to change your... Oh, how sweet. She's fallen asleep. Better change her nappy and put her to bed.
What a morning I'm having just relaxing. Lily, I've just passed your room, and to say the least, I'm not impressed. Who's the naughty girl who keeps promising to tidy her room, but never keeps to her word? I don't know, Mum. Would you like me to help you find her? That won't be necessary, you cheeky devil. The naughty girl is a you. What are you talking about? My room is tidy. Don't you lie to me. That's very naughty. Your room is incredibly messy, and you are very naughty for letting it get that way. Go and tidy up this instant. And none of this talking back rubbish either. Well I guess you wouldn't know a tidy bedroom, even if it was staring you in the face. Blind as a mouse is what you are. The fourth blind mouse. I beg your pardon? I told you no talking back, and you just flat out ignored me. That's very naughty. Go and tidy your room, right now? I don't want to tidy my room. That is a very naughty and stubborn attitude, and I suggest you rethink it very quickly. I'm a child. That's no excuse for messing your room up, and then being very naughty and stubborn about tidying up. You're going the right way towards an early bedtime. Early bedtime? I'm not a baby. You know the rule. Naughty little girls go to bed early in this house. You are being very naughty, back-chatting me all the time. So, you are going to bed early tonight. But. No buts, you naughty girl. I am taking you upstairs and you are going to tidy your room. There's no choice in the matter either. It certainly is a lovely day to be outside. Time for a bit of fun? That probably means you're going to be naughty. That probably means you had best get your ginger bottom out of here. You did not just throw such an insult in my face. Move it along. There's nothing for freaky gingers like you to see. I'm not going anywhere without an apology. Tough. You're not getting an apology. So get a move on. Lily Rose Barrett. How dare I catch you being incredibly rude to this poor girl just because she's ginger. That's a very naughty girl. I'm trying to get an apology out of her. You're not getting one. As my mum's just said, you're a very naughty girl. No Lily. You're the one who is being naughty. Not Emma, and you will apologize to her this instant. No I won't. If anything, she should apologize to me. Why? I haven't done anything to you. I haven't done anything to you either. Excuse me, Missy. That's a downright lie, and you know it. You're making fun of her for being ginger, knowing full well she doesn't like it. You're a very naughty girl. I'll give you one more chance to apologize, or I'll tell my mum. Well, I'm not apologizing. And who could ever want a horrible ginger for a daughter? You're adopted. Millie, I'm shocked you'd be so rude to Emma just because she's ginger. You are so very naughty. Naughty? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. And if you don't stop it, you'll just create even more trouble for yourself. Whatever. A six-year-old with a teenage attitude? Well, I never... Lily, that was really naughty. If you don't stop this bad behavior right now, I will drag you inside, take you up to your room and put you to bed. Hey now, what's all the shouting about? I could hear it from the other end of the street. Your naughty daughter here is hurling insults at me for being ginger. Lily, I hope this isn't true. Don't lie to me. No dad, it isn't true. She's been lying to mum about it all morning. Lying to your own father? You are one very naughty little girl. First you chuck ginger insults at me. And now you've made me out to be a liar. How dare you? Get inside the house, right now. We are disgusted with your behavior today. So it is true. Lily's being naughty again. Afraid so, Romana. She's being extremely naughty. What have you done this time? No lies about it either. Nothing. I said no lies, you naughty girl. You obviously have done something wrong, otherwise you wouldn't be getting told off. She was hurling insults at Emma because she's ginger, refusing to apologize and made her out to be the liar. How naughty, would you believe? You Lily. Are a very naughty girl. How dare you behave this way and expect to get away with it. 
I can't believe you do such a thing, Romana, I'm your sister. My naughty sister who truly deserves whatever punishment she gets. And don't back chat me again. As of now Lily. You are grounded for four weeks. Get up to your room, right now. You heard your father. Go to your room. I'll just stay here. Oh no you won't. You will bloody well do as you're told. You do not disobey our parents. But. No buts. You're being very naughty, and this is part of your punishment. Go now, otherwise I will carry you up. I'm not going to my room. Then I shall carry you up. How dare you be so naughty? The view is great from up here. Best idea I ever had. Lily, you know standing on the furniture is not allowed. Come on, get down now. Before mum or dad catches you. I'll stay up here. I don't think so Lily. You're a naughty girl aren't you? Naughty? What for? You're naughty for standing on the table again. Just get down this very instant. I'd rather not. Lily. If you don't want to be punished I suggest you change your behavior. Change my behavior? But. No buts about it, Lily. Just stop being naughty and do as you're told. Lily. How dare you stand on the table again after being told time again not to. That's very naughty. Naughty this. Naughty that. Give it a rest. That's it. You are going straight to bed. How dare you be so naughty. Why is Lily being so naughty all the time? I don't know. I'm here at the park with my brother and sister today. I know they'll take me home if I do just one naughty thing. So I need to behave. You certainly do, Lily. I heard how badly you've been behaving lately. Have we met? But of course we have. It's me, Ivy. It's been about two years since we last crossed paths. Ivy. Gosh, I didn't recognize you. You've changed a bit. That's because since we last met, I've grown out of my childish ways and started acting more grown up and responsible. After all, I am 12 now. And I'm 6. Are you still living with Sally? I am indeed. Until I'm 18. So, what naughty antics have you been up to lately? Naughty antics? Me? None at all. Lily. I hope you're not being naughty over here. You will go home if you are. What you told me sounded like a lie. Me? Lying? I never do that. That is a dirty fib. And you know it. You're being naughty, aren't you? Me being naughty, Romana? Of course not. You would dare to stand there and lie to me about being naughty? You are a very naughty girl. Looks like we have to take Lily home. I'm afraid so, Roscoe. She's being very naughty, and we have to take her home. But I don't want to go home. I don't care if you want to go home or not. We warned you before we left the house, and you chose to ignore us. That's very naughty. And you are going home. I'm getting bored of just sitting here. Time to have some fun. Now this is much better. 
Excuse me, Missy. You were brought home for being naughty at the park. This is supposed to be part of your punishment. Sit back down this instant. Time out is very boring. No thanks. I put you in time out for being naughty. If you don't stop this behavior, I will put you to bed. Stop it at once. But I wasn't being naughty. Excuse me, but you were lying about your behavior which is very naughty. On top of that, you've just lied to me about it again, and I'll being very disobedient. I'm not disobeying anything you say. Just because your board doesn't give you the right to be naughty and disobedient. Get back on the seat, right now. You're a very naughty girl. I'm not sitting back down, so there. Right. That does it. You have been very naughty all week long, and I am tired of it. I am taking you upstairs and you are going to bed. How dare you behave this way? No, 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 no. I won't do anything of the... Oh dear. Looks like Lily's having another one of her day mevs. Better wake her up. Sort, and you can't make... Wait a minute. Where am I? Lily baby, sit up. Romana? That's right, sweetie. Are you feeling alright? To be honest, I don't understand how I got here. I was just in the park having... Oh no sweetie, you weren't. You've been sleeping there on the sofa, all this time. You dreamt the situation up in your sleep. But haven't I been naughty for the past few weeks? Naughty? For the past few weeks you say? That's right. It did happen, didn't it? No honey, it didn't happen. How could it? You've been out cold for the past few weeks. Ivy sent the call. Out cold? For the past few weeks? Yes darling. I know this comes as a shock. But I'm afraid it's true. I am shocked. Just need to get over it. My word. What on earth is this terrible mess? And who's behind it? I don't know, sweetheart. Whoever it was had better tidy up before mum or dad sees it. I suppose I'll have to do that. Why? You were outside playing, so we know it wasn't you. No, it wasn't. But the culprit isn't going to turn up, so I'll have to clear the mess. Oh no you don't. I suggest you ask mum and dad for advice. I would if they were here. But they're not at this moment. Hence why you're looking after me. I am. So I'm advising you against clearing this mess. Besides, in case you haven't noticed, there are tablets on the table and debris on the sofa. None of which you are to touch, and you, leave this mess alone. It's not yours to tidy. The tablets and debris weren't yours to clear, and you've just cleared them. True. Let's get tidying this dreadful mess. I have this strange suspicion we may have been burgled without our notice. Time to investigate. Now to begin my investigation, and, this is mum and dad's room. There's no getting out of this one. But why would the burglar want to come up here? Best put this back the way it was before they get back and think I made this mess.
On with the investigation. Dad's study. Let's see. Dad's laptop. It's been stolen. Oh, shit. Now, Lily. That was naughty, wasn't it? You don't swear. I know Romana, but look. What on earth? Dad's laptop. It's been stolen. That's why I swore. Don't worry about that now, darling. I'll sort this out while you investigate further. Okay, Romana. Best get this room back to the way it was before the burglars struck. He certainly did a number on this place. Just wait till I catch him. Joe? Hi Lily. What are you up to? I'm investigating the burglary that took place here this morning. You are? That's right. It happened without either of myself or Amana noticing. As you can see both the clock and TV have been stolen. From this room? Yes. The thief also took my dad's laptop from his study. A six-year-old detective? I never thought I'd see the day. I'm now looking for anything we can use to identify the culprit. Hang on a second, what's this? Aha! That's who's been stealing from us. We'll get him. We sure will. I'll take this. Thanks for your help. No problem. There she is. Our very clever little girl who used her detective skills to help the police catch a thief. Honey, we are very proud of you. Thanks, Mum and Dad. Although, the idiot let himself down. Let me guess. You found one of his calling cards? We did. And that helped us to ID him. You deserve a big reward for uncovering a theft and identifying the perpetrator. Oh, please. No, Lily. We're doing this because you caught a thief and con artist. On top of that, you got back everything he stole from us. And so, our special little girl is getting what she deserves for being so clever. You truly deserve it, my sweet little baby. Surprise me. That's what we plan to do. So you'll be staying with me until they give the all clear. I have had a great time with Romana. It's been a blast. I am glad you've enjoyed your time here, my sweet little princess. I've enjoyed having you here. It has been a blast. It certainly has. We still have one more night together before taking you home to receive your treat. Is it time to put on my pajamas? It is. As the evening's approaching, and we've had a busy day. Okay. Good girl. Off we go and get you changed. There you go, sweetie. You look so cute in those pajamas. Thanks, Romana. However, I will outgrow them as I grow. Of course you will. They won't fit you forever. What do I do now? Well, I want you to relax. You've had a busier day than me. I've still got lots to do before I can put on my nighties and settle down. Okay. That's a good girl. I hope Lily likes her new bedroom. I am sure she's going to love it. Okay, baby. 
You can come in now, oh my stars. A new bedroom. That's right, my cute little kitten. Do you like it? Like it? I love it. It's lovely. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Mum. And thank you, Romana. You are most welcome, my sweet little angel. It has been my absolute pleasure to look after you these past few days. You were so very well behaved, and I'm very proud of you. This is the best surprise I've ever received. I'm so very happy. Nothing pleases us more than seeing our little angel happy. We love you very much, baby. Then, everybody loves you, sweetheart. They always say what a sweet, kind, thoughtful and caring child you are. I love you guys, also very much indeed. I couldn't ask for a better family, and we couldn't ask for a kinder, sweeter, more thoughtful and more caring little baby girl. You make us prouder every day. What a brilliant day I'm having. This gorgeous weather makes it all worthwhile. Hey Pipsqueak. Move. No I won't. Unless you ask me nicely. Right. If you won't get out of my way. Then I'll move you myself. Put me down you big bully. Oh I'll put you down alright. Ready? Hey you. What are you doing to that poor little girl? Put her down. Now. I will once I've done this. Help me, Ivy. Help me. Sally. Yes, Ivy. What is? Help me. Lily. Hold on, darling. I'll save you. Got you. You're going to be okay. Thank you. I was so scared. And you. Horrible piece of scum. Picking on kids littler than you. You should be ashamed, oh Lily. Come here. How dare you pick on this poor child. She's only a little girl. What could have possessed you to be so cruel? She refused to move when I asked her to. That is no excuse for what you did. We heard it from the other side of the park. You didn't ask her nicely at all. Yes I did. No you didn't. You just scowled at me. Fuck off, you little cry baby. And how dare you swear at this poor little girl. She has suffered more than enough of your abuse. This little bitch was in my... Hey. Bastard. What do you want? How about I punch you in the face? That little girl in the red top is my little sister. I hate seeing her upset, and you are bang out of order to treat her this way. All I did was move her out of my way. No you didn't. You threw her through the air, and if I hadn't caught her, she could have fallen on her head and damaged her brain. Threw my sister through the air, would you? Just wait until our parents hear about this. You wouldn't dare. Lily, sweetheart. Ivy and I are going to take you home now, and we're going to tell your mum and dad what happened. Come on, Angel. And you're not going anywhere until the police get here. As this is the last episode of this show, I thought, being naughty would be a great send-off. Well, it won't. Get down now. Bad girl. Come on, lighten up. It's just a bit of fun. Let me be. I'll let you be once you've done as you were told. You're a naughty girl, aren't you? I'm a kid. Just let me be one. Right now, you're a very naughty kid who will go to bed if she doesn't stop being naughty and disobedient. Nothing's going to happen. Lily. I'm asking you nicely. Please get down from there. You're putting yourself in serious danger. A nasty accident would be most unfortunate. Thank you. 
There's a good girl. You were right, of course. I could have had a. Baba baba baba. Lily. Are you all right? Baba 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 baba. Fofo 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 fofo. Pi 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 pi. I need to help my poor baby sister. Better get you to the hospital. Poor baby. We hope you enjoyed the little joke we played the other day. We have no intention of ending the series yet. I know the joke turned morbid in the end. There she is, my sweet little baby sister. Is it time to change her bottom? Change my bottom? What are you talking about? I'll tell you what I'm talking about. I'm going to change your little bottom, get you out of those clothes, bath you and put you into your pajamas. My pajamas? Romana, are you mad? It's only one o'clock in the afternoon. I know, but I want you all snuggled in your pajamas. So come on. Be a good girl and come and change. Okay, if I have to. Hi Lily. Hey, Romana. Darling, are you okay? You look down. Not really. You'll be cross. Don't be silly. Why would I be cross? It's just... What is that? On your skirt? Well, I... You wet yourself again, didn't you? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sure you are. You're nearly seven. And you're still wetting yourself like a baby. You're a very naughty girl. But Romana. No but Lily. It's nappers for you, until you learn not to wet yourself anymore. But. I'm not arguing with you Lily. I am putting you into nappies, and that's your punishment. It's time to put a nappy on you. Now. I love being out on beautiful days like this. Divine. Hi Lily. Oh hi Ivy. How are you? I'm super, thanks for asking. That's good to hear. I too, I'm very well thanks. That's very good. Just what I want to hear. Hey Lily. How are you today? Hey Lizzie. I'm good thanks. How are you? I'm great thanks. Best be off. Sally's very strict when it comes to tardiness. So Lizzie, what are you doing here? Same as you. Wait just a minute. I do hope that it wasn't rudeness I heard out of your mouth. Rudeness? Come on Lizzie. You're my cousin. Why would I be rude to you? That's dumb. Right. Time out. What you just said to me was incredibly rude and very naughty. Huh? You know what I'm talking about. You just spoke very rudely to me. And I demand an apology.
I wasn't rude to you. Don't tell lies. Lily Rose Barrett. How dare you speak to Lizzie in such a rude way. You're a very naughty girl. You keep your beak out of it, lady. Off all the naughty things you've ever said, this is the worst. You're a very rude and naughty little girl. I should drag you home. No need, Sarah. I am about to do just that. No you're not. Yes I am, and you are going to bed when we get in. You have been very naughty. Listen to me lady, I'm not going to bed. And that's that. That's it. As of this moment, you little missy, are grounded. How dare you speak to me like that. That's very naughty. And you are very rude. What's got into that child? Right. Off to bed. Naughty girl. I knew you wouldn't. I'm just about to put you to bed for being naughty out there. But first, you need your nappy on. Come on. Nappy. And then bed. Oh boy oh boy. Seven years old. Can't believe it's come so fast. I mean what the finger is that about? And what have we told you about using the F word? Which one? There are lots of F words. Take your pick. Which one? Frog? Floor? Fridge? Fingers? Friends? Flask? Fashion? Don't play dumb with me, you naughty girl. You know damn well which word I mean. Oh yeah. Fun? Lily, I'm serious. If you say that naughty word once more, I will ground you for a week. And put you to bed. Now Lily, calm down. Which naughty word are you going on about? Fingal. Oh Lily, you are a very naughty girl. That word is highly inappropriate for a girl your age to be using. And now you're grounded for a week. How dare you say such a naughty word to your grandmother's face? She asked which word was naughty. How could I not? That is no excuse for foul language. You are really very naughty. Off to bed, right now. Where did she pick up such a naughty word? It is a lovely day for a day in the park. Brilliant. I say it's a bloody snail, you idiot. You're the idiot. It's obviously a slug. It clearly doesn't have a shell. What's going on over there? Let's go and have a look. Is that my naughty cousin, about to poke in on what's got nothing to do with her? Lily, if you get involved in that petty squabble, I will take you home and tell your mum. Don't even think about it. Just curious. That's not an excuse for poking your book in on other people's business. That's very naughty. Stay out of it. There's nothing naughty about curiosity. No, but what you were about to do was very naughty. Stop lying about it. Naughty. No it wasn't. That's it. I am taking you home and telling your mum and dad. You are so gonna be grounded for this. You naughty girl. Was Lily Barrett. That girl is very naughty. Strike five. She's got two months detention for this. Sorry I'm late. Where are we up to? Young lady, you have just earned yourself two months detention. How dare you arrive late again? This is the fifth time. Two months detention? Well, I'm not doing that, so you can just suck it. That's it. I am writing you up. 
How dare you turn up late for my class, refuse to do detention, and speak to me like that. Get to the headmaster's office. Now. No. You go to the headmaster's office. Oh how very naughty you are. I am taking you to the headmaster's office. Beautiful day out here. Oops. Ouch. That hurt. Well, Pipsqueak, you shouldn't be out in the field. Go on, off to the playground. Now. I don't want to use the playground. Lily Barrett, I never expected you of all people to be a bully. You're a very naughty girl. Apologize to my daughter, right now. Apologize? What for? Try stepping on her foot and not offering any form of apology, and then bossing her around. What's the matter with you? She's a little crybaby freak. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. That's enough. I will not tolerate anybody picking on my daughter. And that includes you. Is anyone here with you? I am, Joe. What's going on? Your naughty little sister is bullying my daughter. What? Are you serious? I'm afraid to say that I am. All right, Missy. Tell me the truth. What did you do to Melanie? Nothing. You would dare to stand there and lie to your sister? Oh, you are so naughty. You stepped on her foot without apologizing afterwards, and then bossed her to use the playground. Lie to me, would you? Lily Rose Barat, of all the naughty things you've ever done, this is the worst. Bullying. Well, I never. But I wasn't bullying. Excuse me, but stepping on other children's feet without apologizing afterwards and then bossing them about is bullying. And it is really very naughty. You will apologize to Melane, and you will say it like you mean it. I'm sorry, Melanie, that you're a crybaby. Do you need your nappy changing? What the hell do you call that? Oh, I don't know, Joe. Oh yeah, it's an apology. No. That's not an apology. That's yet, another scowl, and you are very naughty to behave this way towards another child. But I haven't been naughty in the slightest. Excuse me, Missy. You have been exceedingly naughty, and are still doing so. I am taking you home and put- All right, young lady. What do you mean by this despicable behavior? Romana told you? Yes, she did, and she had every right to. We expect you to be naughty sometimes, but bullying? We certainly do not expect to hear you've been doing that. How dare you consider it appropriate to go out and bully another child? That's very naughty and disgusting. But the little rat was in my way. 
that's enough of that talk, young lady. What you've done by going out and bullying little Melanie Stoss is not only very naughty, but it is also very hypocritical. Why are you calling me a hypocrite? Three years ago, you covered the topic of bullying and how bad it is. And now here we are, three years later having to tell you off for being naughty enough to go out and bully someone else's child. You leave us no choice. We have to punish you for this. Romana already did that. She put me straight to bed for it. We don't think putting you to bed was enough. You're grounded. Grounded? That's right. For three weeks. Try to argue back about it, and we will extend it. Wipe that pout off your face and go to your room. Now, you're a very naughty girl. What a great day it is out here. And see you later, Jeff. Behave yourself, won't you? Oh, I will. I'm the Messiah, remember? No, Jeff. You're not the Messiah. You're a very naughty boy. Lily? Is that you? Ah, uh, do I know you? But of course you do, silly. It's me, Ivy. Ivy? Goodness, you've grown. That's because I have. I'm 13 years old these days. 13? Ooh, a teenager. Scary. Oh, you are a very cheeky girl. Why am I cheeky? You have a 15-year-old brother, do you not? Oh yeah, Roscoe. I forgot. You forgot about your own teenage brother? Just kidding. He's here with me today. Anyway, who was that boy who thinks he's the Messiah? That's my friend Jeff Turner. Well, my boyfriend actually. Well, he's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. You're still a sweetie since the last time we met. Hey, Roscoe. Hey, Lily. What's wrong? I heard some very disturbing things outside. I don't know what to do. Okay, there's no need for hysteria. Tell me, what sort of disturbing things were they? Well, this man was threatening to run two 11-year-old boys over. Yet, all they were doing was playing on their boards. Where did you witness this? Just outside the house. The boys are crying for help. And you're bothered enough to see that they get the help they need? Yes. But I'm also a little shaken up by it. You need to sit down. I'll call the police and have them come and deal with it. Sit down? Is that all Roscoe thinks his little sister needs? I was hoping he could advise me on how best to handle the situation. Lily, darling. Shift over, please. I'll give the advice you seek. You've done all you can to help those boys. My advice is to sit back and let the police deal with it. If they want a witness report from you, I'll help you with it. That's a sound piece of advice. Thanks, Dad. Lily, I'm your father, and it is therefore my responsibility to offer advice if you need it. I love you, and I hate to see you looking so down. I love you, Dad. Even your mum and sister will agree. What a glorious sunny morning it is. Perfect for a little friendly competition up on the green. Yes, Lily, but as I'm in charge you have to do as I say. I know that, Romana. Why should that mean I can't join in? Well, 
you're going to be wearing a nappy and I wouldn't want you to get embarrassed. So no playing outside. What? A nappy? You can't be serious. Oh I am. You'll be wearing them all day, as I have decided. I'll be changing your bottom in a minute. But I'm not a baby. Oh but you are. You're my little baby. So come on, it's time to change your bottom. Off with those knickers and... On with a nappy. There. All changed and ready for the day. I will change you whenever you need it. This is ridiculous. On a day I ought to be out playing, I'm inside with a nappy on. I have to wear nappies all day, getting changed whenever I need it. Lily, are you all right in here? Yes thanks, Romana. You don't want anything to eat? No thanks. What about a drink? You got to keep hydrated. No thanks, but I would like to use the toilet. If you need the toilet, use your nappy. That's what it's for. But Romana. No but Lily. I expect you to use a nappy if I put it on you. I put that nappy on you this morning, intending to keep you in them all day, and that's what I'm going to do. That did it. Right then Lily, it's time to change your nappy. There you go, all nice and clean. You were naughty to argue about it though, just for that, you can have nappers on every time I look after you. Romana, I have to tell you something. Lily, before you tell me whatever it is you have to tell me, I must ask if you're about to tell tales. Tell tales? Me? Lily, we know very well that you have this very naughty habit of telling tales on people for no reason. If this is another one of those times, then you can have a nappy on, and go to bed for being naughty. Don't you dare. But Romana, you put a nappy on me when I arrived. So I did. In that case, if you are about to tell tales again, I will change your nappy and put you to bed. So think before you speak. There's a boy scrawling crude messages on the pavement outside. Apparently, you didn't listen to what I just told you. Come with me. Now. So, Ivy is here babysitting me today, and it is brilliant. Lily, sweetie. I think you should come inside. The weather is set to change. I can't argue with that, Ivy. That's a good girl. In we go, you're an absolute pleasure to be around. A very well-behaved girl. How about we sit and play some board games or something? Board games? That's an excellent idea, sweetie. Let us get started. So. Should I be right in thinking that you are, and pardon my pun here, on board with this? Oh I see what you did there. Very clever of you it is. Belong in Ravenclaw, you do. I feel honored to be in the same house as my dad. Which house are you in? In Gryffindor, I am. That's the same house my awesome uncle Darren's in. He's a Gryffindor too. No way. Sally's in Gryffindor too. However, my aunt Sarah is in Slytherin. My cousin Roscoe is a Hufflepuff, and my cousin Lizzie is also a Ravenclaw. I know your dad is in Ravenclaw, but what about your mum, brother and sisters? Well, my mum's a Gryffindor, Roscoe's a Hufflepuff and Romana's a Slytherin. Not surprising actually.
This is a bone chilling graveyard. I'm not supposed to be here. No, you're not. So, what are you doing here? I just wanted to. Stop right there, you naughty girl. Poor excuses won't cut it. But, Ashley. No arguments either. Your parents told you never to go out at night alone, and never to any graveyards. By doing both, you just disobeyed them. You're very lucky Ashley found you. How dare you disobey mum and dad's orders? Naughty girl, I was sleepwalking. Lying to your sister won't get you anywhere. I should get home now before Sally sends a search out for me. Thanks for finding my naughty sister, Ashley. You're welcome. As for you, Missy. How dare you sneak out into this graveyard in the dead of night, and then lie to me about sleepwalking. You have been a very naughty girl. But Romana. Enough. You're being naughty enough already. I am taking you home and putting you straight back to bed. You had us all worried sick. What am I to do? I've never been in such a pickle. Lily, my dear sweet little sister. I hear your cries. What are you in a pickle over? More than ten of my classmates are trying to make me be naughty in front of the board on Friday, and they refuse to accept no for an answer. I think I can help you there, my sweetie. Really? Absolutely. Believe it or not, I went through the same thing when I was your age. So I shall first ask for the names of the naughty children who are trying to push you into it. Erin Jones, Freddie Ronga, Wendy Sempkins, Oliver Croft, Vicky Daly, Skeeter Queens, Nora Lawless, Eric Beckinfield, Zena Fielding, and Simon West. Yes I know those children. I've babysat them all, and they are the naughtiest children going. I shall go to see each of their parents or carers. Those kids should be expelled. Would you? Of course I would. You're my little sister, and I hate seeing you upset. You need to go on home and relax. I'll sort this out for you, poor Lily. It is such a gorgeous day. So gorgeous I could get inside the damn house and go to your bloody bedroom. And why on earth would I want to do that, on a day like this? Because you've been very naughty. That's why. Naughty? In what way? Let's see. Oh yes. Attacking a child three years younger. Who told you I did that? The poor little boy's mum. So get. Why that lying bitch? I never did anything of the fucking sort. She's just made it up to get me into trouble. Right. You are grounded until I see a change of behavior from you. How dare you attack another child, and then lie to me about it in an aggressive manner. But I never even touched the kid. Gore. What a crybaby. I want to hurt him now. Enough. It's time I put you to bed for your aggressive behavior. You are a very naughty girl. I was too late. Aunt Millie has already punished Lily for this so-called attack on a year old boy. This is out of order. She should have at least given the poor girl a chance to explain what really happened. Lizzie, you were there. What did happen? Nothing that involved Lily. What is all this nonsense? Aunt Millie, the truth is there was an attack on a little boy. I know. Committed by Lily, the naughty girl. It's very sad you believe what his mum told you. How could it have been Lily? She wasn't even there. And you know this how? Because I was there right from the start, and I saw the whole thing. Lily didn't turn up once in all that time. She could have run for it. And I can tell you she didn't go anywhere near that little boy's house. She was with me the whole time. Shopping. She was aggressive towards me as well. That's because you wouldn't accept her explanation, so I have ungrounded her on both counts and am ordering you to go and apologize to her. I'm sorry, James. You should have been made aware of Millie's stubborn streak. I know now. I should have asked your mum if there was anything about her that I didn't know.
I never thought it would be possible for this to happen. I bet even my sister Romandy can't believe it. Romandy? Watch it you cheeky monkey. You know my name's Romana. Yes, Romandy. Lily, are you doing this to be naughty? I shall get cross if you are. Naughty? Not at all, Romandy. That is a very naughty girl. How dare you persist on calling me Romandy after I warned you. Romana, don't you think you're overreacting just a tiny bit? Lily's just trying to notice that this is the 20th incarnation of our franchise. Roscoe, she keeps calling me Romandy, and I don't like it. If that's not naughty, I don't know what is. It's called being a child. A very naughty child at that. Romana, I'm not being naughty. So stop saying I am. Oh Lily. You are cheeky, but we love you. I can't believe I hit the top score in total illumination. I am the girl of the hour. Now Lily, there's no need for that behavior. What behavior, Romana? You know what I'm talking about, Missy. You were being cocky. Cocky? No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. You were just bragging about hitting the top score on Total Illuminator, and that is very cocky. Come on, Romana. It's my moment here. Hitting the top score on Total Illuminator, and you're trying to take it away from me? I gave up on that. After failing to even hit a score of 128,000. It's rubbish. Oh. I can't believe what I'm hearing. My own 20-year-old sister is jealous of my high score. How childish. Um. Just out of interest, what is your highest score? My highest score is 6,550,755. 6,550,755? But that's the top score at expert level. Gosh. That's impressive. Congratulations on beating TE. At the expert difficulty. I played it at all difficulty levels, and came top at all of them. I'm brilliant. There is one level you haven't played, let alone beaten. Professional. That's where your top expert score counts towards your place in the arena. The top score at that level is 586,600,800, which if you manage to reach not only earns you the pro trophy, but also wins you a cash prize of £75,000. However, as you're under 18, you won't be invited to participate in the contest. Sorry, sweetie. I can't believe the past year has passed by so quickly. Lily, are you all right out here? I'm fine, thanks, Romana. Mum and Dad sent me to get some fresh air. And quite right too. Sweetheart, I say this because I love you. It's not healthy to stay stuffed up inside all the time. I agree with them on this too. It's good to see you out here getting the much needed fresh air. You are all right of course. I know how unhealthy it is for me to stay stuffed up in my room all the time. I was already risking illness. Oh Lily, you are a very sensible girl. We are so proud of you. By the way. Lily. Romana has something to tell you. Oh my word. Romana, you're not pregnant are you? Of course not silly. Mum and Dad are off out tonight, so you'll be staying with me. I'll look forward to it. Me too, sweetie. Oh, that's my cue to go. Ivy's waiting for me. Am I missing something here? Are Roscoe and Ivy dating? Yes love. They are. But isn't Ivy only 14? Yes she is. But it is only two years between them. So that's not a big deal. Here we are, darling. You're home for tonight. Sit down and make yourself at home. Thanks, Romana. Well, we couldn't have you being left with any old person all night. No indeed. It could have been with some grouchy old bag who hates children. Don't be so daft. 
Mum and Dad wouldn't leave you in the care of someone like that. If I was unavailable, Uncle Darren and Auntie Sarah would have taken you. I'm glad you were available tonight, as Uncle Darren and Auntie Sarah are both away on business. Of course they are. Silly me. We all make mistakes, Romana. Don't beat yourself up. My eight-year-old sister is such a gem. I love you so much. I love you too, Romana. To think by the time I'm 21, you'll be 34. Oh, you are so charming. I am, aren't I? You are. Indeed. But I love you all the more for it. What's for dinner? Ah. Why not come with me into the kitchen, as I think you're going to like it. Scrumptious. Thanks, Romana. You are more than welcome, honey. I'm glad you enjoyed it. How much longer can I stay up? Let me see. It's 7.30 now, so I'll give you another hour. And then I'll put you to bed. Another hour, eh? Ah. Bless her sweet little heart. Better put her to bed. Gosh, I'm a cloche. What a brilliant summer's day this is. It is, isn't it, my little darling? Absolutely, Romana. And thanks for having me last night. You, as always, are more than welcome to come and visit me anytime you like. As long as it's not midnight. Don't be daft, Romana. I wouldn't even dream of going out in the middle of the night. I know you wouldn't. You're not naughty like that. You're never naughty for me, are you? Never? I'm not entirely sure that's true. I have been naughty for you quite a number of times over the years. But not recently. Lily, since you turned eight, you have matured so much more than any other eight-year-old. I'm not like any other eight-year-old. I'm unique and proud of it. That, I have to agree with you on, my sweet little angel. Is there something you need my help with, Mum? Oh no, everything's fine. You're a good girl for offering. Thank you so much. You know I'm always happy to help whenever and wherever I can. I know you are, and I'm very proud of you. But this is your summer holiday. You deserve your fun. If Dad turned up right now, he'd agree. I know he would. I'd better be getting to work now before they fire me for being late again. Come on, Lily. It's time to come home for lunch. Yummy lunny lunch. I love coming to Romana's. It's brilliant. And I love having you around. My darling little sister is always welcome. Fantastic. We're going to have a great weekend. We certainly are. Mum and Dad don't want me taking you to any bars, and I have to respect their wishes. Does that mean you can't take me out for lunch or supper? No, of course not. There are quite a few fine restaurants in the area. Is there anything else I should know? Yes there is. I'll be putting you to bed at 8 o'clock each night this weekend. Any naughty behavior? And it will be earlier. Warning heeded. I'm not likely to misbehave in any way. I know. It's just a precaution, sweetheart. So, what are we going to do? That's up to you, my darling. What would you like to do? I'd like to go to the cinema to see the new Toy Tales film. Toy Tales 4? An excellent choice. I anticipated that you'd want to go, so I bought us tickets online yesterday. Brilliant. What time is it for? four o'clock this afternoon. So we've got a few hours to get ready. I'd like you to choose your own snacks. Oh Romana, I could hug you. Come on over here, you cute girl. I love you, Romana. I love you too, my sweet little sister. That was a brilliant film. I am looking forward to tomorrow. Me too, sweetie. It is however, Time for me put my sweet little sister to bed for the night. I want you rested for tomorrow. Of course, Romana. Just to double check before I put you to bed. You've showered? Yes, I've done all three. In that case, your bed is awaiting your arrival, and it's crying out your name. There you go, princess. All nice and comfy? Yes, Romana.
Thanks, Lily. You're my little sister, I love you very much, and I will strive to make sure you're well looked after and happy whilst under my care. You'd make a great mother one of these days. I'm serious. Bless you, darling. You're so sweet to say that. Mum and Dad said if anything happens to them, they want me to adopt you. And I agreed. Really? Yes, really. Enough of that now. It's time to say good night. Good night, Romana. Good night, sweetheart. Sweet dreams. I love you, Romana. I love you too, my precious little angel. Romana will be up in a minute, and... Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning, Romana. Did you sleep well? Yes, thank you, and yourself. I slept really well thanks, my sweet little sister. Excellent. I was about to make you a cup of coffee. Lily honey. You're sweet to offer and I thank you a million for that, but I'm supposed to be taking care of you, and I forbid you to go near the kettle when full of boiling water. Fair enough. Good girl. I do hope you're not planning on staying in your pajamas all day. Of course not. That's good to hear. Off you go and get dressed, and then I'll tell you what I have planned for us today. That girl is so well behaved. If I ever have a daughter, I hope she's as well behaved as Lily. I'm up and ready for the day ahead. Excellent. Here's my plan for us today. I thought we could go to the city center for a spot of shopping this morning. And then, after lunch we could go to the beach and relax. That sounds good to me, sis. Before we do any of that, it's time for breakfast. Oh, and we should check the weather for any chance of rain. Way ahead of you on that side of things. We are expecting a thunderstorm in about a minute. Sorry Lily. It looks like we can't do as planned today due to the weather. Never mind. There's always another time. How about we have fun inside instead? You are a very good girl. Most kids your age would complain about their plans being ruined. But not my little daughter, I meant sister. I'm not like most eight-year-olds. And I'm glad of it. Being me has its benefits. The main benefit is you have a loving family who'll do anything for you. Get yourself into my arms, you special girl. What am I doing here? That's my question as well. Only 18s and over can come to the bar. Since when were you 18? I'm not. I'm only 8. Precisely. You are a very naughty girl, aren't you? If you say so. That attitude is not acceptable, young lady. It's very naughty of you to enter this area whilst underage. The barman can ban you. What are you going to do about it? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to take you home, and when we get in, I am putting you to bed for being so rude and naughty. And I'm grounding you for three weeks, naughty girl. I don't want to go to bed. Well tough. This is your punishment for being naughty at the restaurant. Walking into the bar at your age. Honestly, that was disgraceful behavior. On top of speaking to me in such an appalling manner. If you're going to behave that way, then you must suffer the consequences. It's too early for bed, it's still daytime. Not for naughty little girls like you it isn't. It's bedtime for you, so stop being naughty and do as you're told. I'm not going to sleep if that's what you want me to do. You can forget that. You are being really naughty, and I am very cross with you. How dare you act this way? You are being such a little brat. Stop it, right now. You're acting like a baby. What will you do if I don't? That's easy. If you keep being a little brat, I will take you out of this bed, walk you into the baby's room, put a nappy on you, and put you in the cot. Yeah, as if. Oh, then you had better come and put your nappy on, as you are going to sleep in the nursery. Act like a baby, get treated like a baby. And you will wear a nappy, everywhere you go. Whoever's available can change you. 
This will go on until you start being more mature. Baby. Are you crazy? They can't change my nappies at school. Yes they can, and they will. I'll arrange it with them. And your nappy stays on until you need changing. Gosh, that was a great night. I need to think about getting dressed soon. Not so fast there, Lily. I need to give you a bath and change your nappy before you get dressed. Come on. There. All nice and clean, and fully dressed. Feel free to sit down. I'll change you when you need it. I forgot mum put me in nappies until I show a more mature attitude. Never mind. We all forget things. Actually, it's time I changed you. And then it's breakfast time. This is ridiculous. Why couldn't mum have punished you like a normal kid? Thank heavens. Someone who agrees with me. Lily. You're eight years old now. Hat whether you did wrong, it didn't deserve this treatment. I need to have words with mum about it. I did kind of act like a baby. The way I heard it from dad, you were walking to the bar to go and use the restroom on the other side of the pub, and mum grounded you without even letting you go. You had every right to be upset, and she saw it as you being naughty and babish. She was in the wrong, and she's too stubborn to admit it. I say we change you back to proper underwear, and forget this stupid punishment. I never thought there would be much arousal up in mum and dad's room. No wonder I couldn't go in. I think I might have gone stiff. Lily. I am shocked. You are such a dirty-minded little girl. You're very naughty for talking so dirty. What's so dirty about saying I would have gone stiff if I'd entered your room? We know perfectly well what you meant by it, Missy. You meant it in a sexual manner. That's why it's dirty talk, and it's why you were naughty to talk like it. Well, you and Dad were getting down to some very dirty business. Lily, I will get angry if you don't stop talking this way. It is highly inappropriate for a girl your age. All right, Mum stop getting menstrual about it. Or you might just get snatched. That's it. How dare you ignore my warning. Never have I heard you speaking such filthy talk. You are such a naughty girl. Oh mum, begging your pardon but, it's you and dad who were being naughty this morning, not me. Lily, I will not have you talking like this anymore. You are now grounded for 12 weeks. How dare you speak such obscenity, and make it hard. Hang on a second there, you big hypocrite. You can't tell me not to use innuendos and then go and use one yourself, so I'll reject the grounding on those grounds. Enough of this nonsense. Just go to your room this minute. You are a very naughty little girl. No way, you dirty cow. There's nothing I like more than a beautiful day. Too beautiful to ignore. You'll need your wheelchair, honey. Yes, mom. Look out, spast. I beg your pardon? I was just saying how there's a spast. Stop right there, missy. I will not have you using that disgusting word towards any person with any type of disability. Get inside the house, right now. How dare you let me catch you going to use that word not once, but twice. You are a very naughty girl. And you are now grounded for a very long time. There was no excuse for going to say that naughty word. And you need to learn sensitivity when it comes to disabled folks. I didn't know how bad it was to say that about spast. I mean disabled people. You never told me. Don't you fib to me. Your father and I warned you about it several times last week, and you have ignored every one of those warnings. Hey now. What's all the shouting about? James, you should know our naughty daughter here was caught being rude about a boy with a wheelchair. Oh really now? And what did she say? I was merely pointing out how he's a spastic, and... Stop right there, you naughty girl. How dare I hear you using such a derogatory term for disabled persons. You are so disgusting. But, Dad, I didn't realize. Don't. You. Dare. Tell. Such. An. Obvious. Fib. Lily Barat. You have been warned plenty of times about that foul word, and you've ignored every single damn one. As of now, you are grounded for an extra long time. Oh. And you can spend the next 13 months in nappies. Oh no I'm not wearing nappies.
Oh yes you are. And we appoint Romana here to put one on you, right now? You do deserve it. Come with me, and I will put a nappy on you. Now, she needs to learn how to treat people with disabilities. Yes, and we should be the ones to teach her. Why did I have to be rude about that boy? I hate myself for this. Lily, what's this? Why are you not up? Mum, I'm sorry I ignored all those warnings about tolerance towards disabilities and showed intolerance towards a boy in a wheelchair. I'm a bad daughter. No, you're not. You're a lovely daughter. Your dad and I think you've learned your lesson. You're free to go outside again, if you promise never to do that again. I absolutely promise never to be disrespectful like that again. That's our little girl. So, how about turning that frown upside down and getting up? What am I going to wear? Worry not, sweetheart. Your mum's washed, dried and pressed your favorite outfit. Before we get you dressed, I think we need to give you a nice hot bubbly bath and get you washed. I'll meet you downstairs when you're all washed, dried and dressed. Come on, darling. Let's go and get you washed, shall we? That is much better, if I say so myself. Why, Dad? You just did. Welcome back, Lily. Cheeky little madam. Why, Mum? I never went anywhere. That's the Lily we know and love. Roscoe, my dear brother. Hello, sweet Lily. I'm pleased to see you too. Isn't that sweet? It certainly is. Okay, sweetie. Are you ready? Ready for what, Lucy? You're coming to stay with Roscoe and me this weekend. We all agreed you need a break. Really? Yup, that's the case. You take her ahead. We'll drop her stuff round later. I'm not leaving without saying goodbye. Have a good time. Be a good girl. We love you very much. Ivy is looking after me while mom and dad are out. It's gone well so far. Lily. I just passed your room. I can't say I approve of the mess. Some naughty little girl needs to tidy her room. And to which naughty little girl are you referring? You, cheeky madam, are the naughty girl I'm talking about. Go and tidy up please. Ivy, can't I? Lily, don't even think about trying to trick me into letting you slack off. I promised your mum and dad I'd make sure you'd tidy your room. Stop being naughty and get a move on. Make a start on tidying that bedroom. Come on, Ivy. I'm not being naughty. You are being very naughty indeed. How dare you keep arguing with me about tidying your room. I don't know what your other babysitters let you get away with, but you won't with me. Oh yes, I will. Oh no you won't. You will get your naughty bottom up to your room, and you are going to tidy up. And you will do that. Now. I don't want to. That. Is. Enough. Naughty girls must go to bed. And that's where you're going once you've tidied up. Any more acting up, and I'll put a nappy on you. Acting up? Nappy? I don't think so. In that case, you are coming with me, as I am cleaning you up and changing your bottom. You are going into a nappy. Pronto. Alrighty then. That's me up and ready. Off I go. And just where do you think you're going, young lady? Oh, just off to the park. Oh no, you're not. Ivy told us about how badly you behaved last night. I wasn't naughty last night. Excuse me, young lady, but you were very naughty last night. All you did was lie to her and disobey her every command. She told us she had to put you to bed in a nappy. We ended up paying her triple for the trouble you gave her. As of this moment, you're grounded. Young lady. Oh no I'm not. Oh yes you are. Until you can learn never to disrespect anyone like that again. To make sure you don't try to sneak out for your leisure, I am keeping you in nappers. But mum, I know where the... There's no getting out of it. Come on, as I am changing your bottom. Yes, it's nappy time for you. I hope this teaches her a lesson. Lily.
Your mum and I are going out for a bit, so Roman is here to babysit. I'm not a baby. Let's have no more of that. We've told her we had to ground you for your behavior last night, and we had to put an appeal on you to keep you from sneaking out. Don't worry, mum and dad. Lily here wouldn't dare be naughty for me. For she knows what will happen if she does. In that case, we'll leave her to you, Romana. See you when we get back. Okay, Lily. It's just going to be you and me for the next few hours. It's going to be fun. I'm here to make you looked after, and don't get up to any trouble. Oh that. I've already created enough of that for myself as it is. Being naughty for Ivy and acting spoilt, hence why I have to wear nappies as part of my punishment. Speaking of which, I think I need to change your nappy. Come on. Gosh, what a long few weeks those were. Off out, remember Lily? If you see Ivy, apologize for being naughty that night a few weeks ago. I was planning on it. All right, off you go, and behave yourself. I hope she doesn't do anything naughty. Ask oh, Ivy, I'm glad to have found you. Lily, sweetie. I know you've come to apologize for being naughty a few weeks ago. Yes, I have. I don't know what came over me. I forgive you for that. Now what do you say we put it all behind us and go on as normal? I say that sounds awesome. Indeed. Excellent. Let me give you a hug. This is so warm and cozy. Aren't you sweet? Lily, my little darling. It's time to come home now. Mum needs to talk to you. Whatever it is. I didn't do it. Oh you silly sausage. You're not in trouble. It's just something very important she needs to tell you. Say no more. Lead the way. I think somebody's in for a big surprise. I wonder what the big news is. This is all very mysterious. Lily, my sweet little girl. Are you ready to hear the big news? Ready as I'm ever going to be, Mum. Okie dokie. Here goes. You, my precious little angel, are going to be a big sister. You're pregnant? Yes, love. I am pregnant. Only just found out. This means you're going to have some responsibilities and it'll be up to you to set good examples to your little brother or sister. What sort of responsibilities? Well, as the big sister, you'll sometimes have a hand in feeding, changing and entertaining the baby. I'll look forward to it. However, as you've never changed a nappy before, I will teach you to do so by using a doll for you to practice on. Wicked. When do we start? As soon as we have a baby doll. First, your father and I want you to choose a name. How about Michelle for a girl, and Carter for a boy? And those are two very well chosen names. I'll let your father know. Wait until you hear the news. I have a new baby sister. Her name's Michelle. So cute, she is. Lily, no, please be quiet. I certainly don't. Michelle is asleep. Sorry, you don't want to wake her. That's okay, sweetie. <coughs> That's Michelle. How about coming to give me a hand? I'd love to help you out. Off we go. You have taken to sisterhood very well, and I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Mum. I love Michelle to pieces. I'll do anything for her. I know you would, darling. You're a brilliant big sister. I learned from the best. Romana will be pleased to hear you say that. I say it because it's true. Here you all are. Is everything all right? All is fine, James. I was just praising Lily for being an excellent big sister. Quite right, too. Lily, you are a fantastic big sister, and little Michelle here adores you. Speaking of which, I should go and change this one. Can I help you? Of course you can. Sweetie, come on up. Lily is a very loving sister to Michelle. But all the same she is just a child herself, and deserves a proper childhood. Oh my goodness, what a night that was. Brilliant. There you are Lily. Come on then. Upstairs please. Upstairs? What for? To put your nappy on, of course. Put my nappy on? Romana, I'm nine years old why do you want a nappy on me? I want a nappy on you because every time I come to look after you, you act like such a baby. So it's nappies for you, and that's that. 
Come and put your nappy on, now. Romana. You said you were putting a nappy on me. And I have put a nappy on you. You're wearing one now. Right. But why have you put me in my nighties and sat me in this cot? I figured that if I'm going to be changing your nappies, then you might as well be in your nighties. And the cot is going to be your bed. So let me get this straight. You come to babysit me, you put a nappy on me, and now you want me to sleep in a cot? Not a moment too soon. Get down on the changing mat, as I need to change your nappy. This is a public service announcement. As our creator's Vion subscription is coming to an end, he has decided to start shifting the timeline ahead more frequently to fill out the rest of my story. The first time skip will occur during the episode you're about to see, and the set number will no longer be displayed on screen. He wants you to see me as a teenager and an adult before wrapping up production of the series. And so, without further ado, let's get on with the show. Oh, now I am in my pajamas? That's because I'm just getting up. So if you'll excuse me. Would you like a hand, sweetheart? Yes please, mum. How's Michelle? Oh she's fine. We can chat about it whilst we get you washed. I need to start think about the future. Lily, you're just a child. Why start thinking about the future now? That may be, Romana. But in just a few years I'll be 13, and they'll start expecting me to think about choosing a career. Not until you're 15, darling. However, you're only 9 at this time. Stay close, Michelle. This is a massive affair. I don't want to lose you. Yes, Lily. Thanks for bringing me here. Mum and Dad told me well you did in that test. And this is my reward to you for doing so well. I'd like a go on the coconut shy. The coconut shy, it shall be. Hey Lily. Hi Romana. How are things at home? To be honest, they're quite hectic with Michelle being naughty so poor mum and dad can't get anything done. That child can be such a pain. I had her at mine the other day. She was so naughty I had to put her to bed in my guest room. Yeah she can. She's naughty every time I babysit her for the day, or night. She never does as I tell her. Come to think of it, how often do you babysit her? About twice a week. I nearly had a heart attack last time I babysat her. How are you doing, little sister? Not bad thanks bro. How are you? Can't complain. How's Michelle? She's a little devil. Always causing trouble for everyone. So she's over the top with naughtiness? Bingo. She's already been expelled from three schools, and mum and dad can't get her anywhere else. No school wants her. That's what she gets for being naughty all the time. Enough about that, how are you doing at school? Because Michelle never gives our poor parents a break. I'm hardly ever there so my grades are really suffering. Oh no. It's not your fault you're rarely able to attend classes. There must be something the school can do to compensate that. There isn't. If my grades fall by another 1%, it will lead to my expulsion from the school. That naughty little sister of ours is going to get you expelled from school for academic failure. I can't believe this. Right, that's Michelle doing her homework. I told her to call me if she needs help, at least. I hope that's what she's doing. If I need to put a nappy on her to make her listen, I will. Oh wait, I put one on her before I sent her to make a start. That's disgusting. I need to change her nappy. See you in a bit. That's better. And she is doing her homework. Putting nappies on her was the right decision. Young lady do thine ears deceive me, or did I hear you correctly? You heard me correctly, mum. You've been putting nappies on Michelle again? How dare you be so naughty? In my defense I did it to make sure she did her homework, and it worked. That's no excuse. You are 16 now, and should know it's wrong. I'm not that. Oh no missy. You're grounded for 9 weeks. 
and to make sure you don't sneak out, I think you need nappies. Lily, are you okay? I'm fine, thanks. Romana, how are you doing? Very well, thanks. Busy with work also. I'm very proud of you, my dear sister. You're doing really well for yourself. When do you get that sweet promotion? Not for a while yet. How's Michelle? She's doing great. She recently received a special merit for catching a shoplifter. That child never ceases to amaze me. I know. That's an amazing thing for a seven-year-old to accomplish. She reminds me of you when you were a child. Does she? Why is that? You were one amazing child yourself. As a four to six-year-old, you basically ran your own talk show for parents with badly behaved children. Ashley and her mum being your most frequent guests. I don't remember that. You don't? Lily Barrett, you surprise me. It was at the earliest 12 years ago. Romana, I don't remember it because it never happened. Who are you, and what have you done with my sister? Romana, I am your sister. Ouch, ouch. Lily, are you? Dad, is everything okay? It's all fine, my dear daughter. It's just we need you to come home. How come? Apparently our Michelle was found making friends today. That's good then. I thought there was trouble. Dad, tell me what could be wrong with my little sister's friends? Alright. I'm not sure they're really her friends. I think they're taking advantage of her. Why would you think that? Well, she's seven years old, and they're all much older than her. How much older are we talking here? About 35 years. We need to get them away from her. My naughty little sister, what does she think she's doing going off with men of 42? Don't worry, sweetheart. Michelle's fine now. However, she wants to see you. I can grant her that request. Lily adores her baby sister. She'd do anything for that girl. She's so motherly towards her that people assume she's 25, and Michelle's her daughter. Oh dear. She'd make a fantastic mother one of these days. Thanks for bringing me here, Lily. No problem, Michelle. Remember your side of the deal. I bring you here, you do your summer assignment. And I will, as soon as I get home. At a girl. Can you believe ten years have passed since we both lived at home? Not really. Just because I moved out doesn't mean I love you all any less. Besides my little girl needs me. How is little Lizzie? She's fine. A very funny three year old. So how are you two doing, sweetheart? We, that is to say my daughter Lizzie and I are very well thanks. I'm glad to hear that. Where is my niece anyway? She's playing in the garden, bouncing her ball around. <laughs> I should go and check on her. Lily is a fantastic young mother. I'm so proud of her. That little girl has a foul mouth. That child can be very naughty sometimes. All kids can be naughty sometimes. Calm down, sister. You're right. I need to calm down. I just love my daughter so much, I hate having to punish her. Lizzie, where are you? Mummy needs to change your nappy. Come here, baby. Where is that naughty baby? She needs to be changed, or she'll get a nasty rash. Oh yeah, duh. I put down for a nap an hour ago. Time to get her up and change her. Lily, I see you need help keeping track of your daughter. I could use a hand actually. Never fear, Auntie Michelle is here. Michelle, I shall happily accept your help. Excellent. So, where do I start? Well, all you have to do is keep Lizzie entertained and help to look after her. Gotcha. Except I've never changed a nappy before. Not to worry, I'll show you how to do that. You'll get the hang of it. Well done, Michelle. I think you got it. Lily, if you like, I could move in and help look after Michelle. Michelle, 
I appreciate your offer but you're still a schoolgirl. I can't inflict that kind of difficulty on you. It should be me who does the majority of the child care. All you and the rest of the family are supposed to offer is moral support. I respect you for that. You are a fantastic mother. At least let me babysit from time to time. Count on it. You're a very loving auntie. Can you believe this, Mum? You have achieved what you set out to do all those years ago. You know what, Shelby? I cannot believe it. You ought to be proud of yourself. And I, for one, am very proud to be her son. I know what you're talking about, Mason. Shelby, Olivia and I are all really proud to be her daughters. Mum's certainly done extraordinarily well with her life. She deserves all she has accomplished since she was just a tiny girl of four. Yeah, she is such an amazing woman. I'll give her that. Yay for mum. One truly amazing person she is. Proud to be her daughter, I am. Oh? Better go before I wet myself. <laughs>